Ugh, tough day today. <laughs> You're telling me. My back is killing me. Well, that's what happens when us veteran workers are old as dirt. Twenty years? Certainly do a number on you, Abraham. Hey, you got the time? Yeah, it's 9.45. Damn it. My wife's probably going to give me hell for coming home late. At least you actually have a wife and two kids to go home to. I only have a cat that pisses everywhere but the litter box. <laughs> well, good night, Steve. Good night, Abe. Hey, Stacy. What do you want, Abe? Look, I'm sorry I'm coming home late. It was a busy day at the lumber yard today. Abe, it's fine. You, you're not mad? No. Look, I should understand that you work just as hard as I do to provide for the family. Thanks, hon. I'm really not sure why I felt worried that you were going to be mad at me. Set the... Abe, what was that? Stace, I... I just hit someone. What? It was an accident. He just came out like a bat out of hell. What should I do? Should I call an ambulance? Hold on. I gotta make sure that he's okay. Are you crazy? What if he's part of a gang or something? Look, Stace, just calm down. I'll handle this. I'll see if he's okay first, then I'll call you right back. Okay, just be careful. I love you. I love you too. Bye. Oh god. No, 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 no. Oh. Jesus Christ. Oh. Damn it, why do you have to run in the middle of the road, you stupid son of a- ah. Okay, just calm down, Abraham. Take a deep breath, gather your thoughts, just think this through. Don't scream, and don't turn around, and I don't hurt you. Take whatever you want, kid. My wallet, my car, my clothes, go ahead. No, I'm not interested in any of that nonsense. The only thing that I want is you. Look, I'm sorry about your friend. I didn't mean it, honestly. Just jumped straight into the middle of the road. I couldn't stop in time. Don't worry, mister. Everything's gonna be okay once we get this all sorted out. Morning, Sleeping Beauty. How was your nap? Who are you? Where am I? You, my friend, have just earned yourself a one-way ticket to the place where all hope and dreams die. <laughs> nah, I'm just messing with you. Shut up. This isn't funny. Leo's dead. Hey, man. I'm just trying to look on the lighter side of things. Alright, Abraham Morris. Why don't you explain to all of us why you killed our friend? How do you know my name? Did you go through my wallet? I had to make sure you didn't have anything dangerous in your pockets. Come on, Charlie. I told you not to go through this poor guy's stuff. I'm sorry, Lewis. I'm just trying to keep this family safe and alive. This asshat killed Leo in cold blood. It was an accident. I saw it myself. Come on, Charlie, lay off him, will ya? No. You think I'm scared of a young little punk like you? You should be. I didn't even hear you pull the hammer. The gun's probably not even loaded. Charlie, moment of your time, please. 
This isn't the end, man. I'll be back. Can't wait. So, what do you guys think? You can't just kill him. He seems to be cool. Even if that were true, we can't just let him go. He's seen our faces and he knows our names. Well, with Leo gone, we need someone new to fill the void in our family and to keep with our name. But who really cares about the name? It's not that big of a concern. Think about it, guys. We let him into the fold and we don't have to let him go. And we don't have to kill him either. It's a win-win for us. How do we do that? He's clearly freaked out by us. And then what if he tries to run away and let the world know about us? We just have to persuade him into liking us. It can't be that hard. He could act as a father figure to us. We already have someone to take that job. It's not enough, and we all know it. I mean, we all have some soft side to us. Even you, Charlie. To be honest, you got me with the no bullets in that gun. Alright, boys, let's do this. You hungry? We have a lot of explaining to do. Oh yeah, you don't say. We can't tell you everything right now, but we can at the very least run you through the basics on ourselves. Just say what you have to say. I'm all ears. We call ourselves the Grim Five. We've honestly dipped our toes in most criminal activities to keep ourselves standing. The four of us have known each other for a very long time. And we've been coining our family name for six years, even down to the number brandings on our right hands. I'll be honest, boys. I'm impressed with how you've all stuck it out for so long. The boy you hit by accident was named Leo. He was a part of our family. Now we need someone else to don the number one amongst us. I... No, no, I can't do this. I have a wife and children back at home. Trust us, Abraham. We won't keep you with us permanently. You seem smart. Smart enough to be a leader. And we need leadership. I... I need to wrap my head around all of this. I, I barely know you guys. I, I killed someone tonight. We understand you're stressed and fractured with your mental state. We'll talk about this again in the morning. It's been a long night for all of us. Blake will escort you to your room for the night. Sounds like a plan. Well, for appearing to live in a basement, I've got a pretty decent guest room. No offense. No, a basement would be a compliment to our living quarters. Well, make yourself at home. We'll talk again in the morning. Any questions? Where's the bathroom? Second door on the left. Good night. Oh, and one more thing. Can I have that knife back? Look, man, I don't blame you for having it, but you can trust us, Abraham. Once you get to know us, you'll trust us fully. Oh, and I recommend getting better at stealing. You'll have to do it a lot in this line of work. See you tomorrow. Hello? Hello? Thank you. Hey, uh, Lewis? What's with that young girl with the dark brown hair and a ponytail? Oh, her. Her name's Cindy. 
She seems nice enough, but none of us have ever heard her talk. Wait, really? Yeah. We've all known her for five months now, and she hasn't said a single word to any of us. We're thinking that she might have a speech disability or something. She always helps us nonetheless. How, um, how old are you? Not to be nosy, but I'm 24. What about yourself? Not to be nosy, but <laughs> funny. I'm 42. So what did your parents let you leave home early? You okay? It's kind of complicated. I'll tell you more about that at a later time. It's okay. I, I understand. Good. I'll see you in the morning. Good night. I'm telling you, my husband is in trouble or something. He hasn't called me in hours. Okay, just calm down, ma'am. Where does your husband work? He works at Smitty's Lumberyard. Alright, we'll see if he's gone back or at least search the area. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Bye.